The Invisible Guest started out really well, and I will say the suspense it began with did keep level throughout. I did feel like it did atmosphere very well, but apart from that, and mainly due to some idiotic character decisions, I felt like it fell flat really quickly and is very unbelievable. Either that or the characters, primarily Laura, is so thick that she wouldn't have survived two minutes in this film. This was released in 2016, directed by Oriol Paolo, and stars Mario Casas as our protagonist, Adrian. Adrian is chief suspect uh, for the murder of Laura. Laura is his romantic lover, uh, with whom he should not have been spending any time. And she was found murdered in the hotel room where they were both staying. Of course, he is chief suspect. And the film basically starts with Adrian telling his lawyer about what happened because there are, there are holes in his narrative so the lawyer's there to help him knit those holes together and as the film progresses we learn more about what happened in the days leading up to her death i thought okay this sounds interesting i want to know what happened i'm i'm curious to see if he was guilty um i got the impression straight away that that he wasn't but i'm not going to say whether or not i maintained that viewpoint but what really annoyed me is the character of Laura. I did not like her. I did not care that she had been murdered. I couldn't care less about her. And that's because she is a selfish idiot. And I came to that conclusion pretty quickly. Um, so there will be spoilers from here on, but I do want to point out that this is a Spanish language film, so there are subtitles if you watch it. Um, I watched it on Netflix. I do um, I recommend it even if you are not used to subtitle films, it's it's easy to follow. But do I recommend the film itself? I don't know, because it did suspense well. I did care about Adrian. I did want to know what had actually happened in those final moments. But I didn't care because of the victim. So there's a spoiler here. I'm about to spoil the thing that really annoyed me the most. Quite early on in the film, Laura and Adrian are in a car crash. Um, quite an innocent car crash. He was driving quite fast, but... And there was a deer and he crashes into somebody else's car and that person dies. Now looking at the car and the way in which he hit it, I don't think the window would have smashed that way. So it's quite unbelievable. Um, and also the impact with the driver being on the opposite side of the collision. Again, not a really realistic response. Now I'm watching this as somebody who's watched hundreds and hundreds of hours of true crime and has read hundreds of of books, magazines, and literature about true crime. So when I'm watching this, I'm analysing it. But even then, I thought Laura was an idiot because she started to touch things in the car. And I just thought, are you so stupid that you're not even a tiny bit forensically aware? Sure, you haven't actually, you know, this was an accident. You haven't actually killed the person in this car that the car hit. But you're going to drive away and leave him and pretend that you had nothing to do with it. And yet you're putting your fingerprints all over everything. And then she got back in the car and they were about to drive away. And they just left the car door open. The car that they hit, the door was just left wide open. Making it... Ob and she turned the engine off. Making it obvious that somebody had been there. Instead of just making it look like the car had crashed because of the deer... You could maybe argue that the impact on the window was from a deer running into it. Forensically, that wouldn't stand up. But she was just an absolute fool. And I thought, can you really be this thick? And she did so many things that really would have made it a very quick crime to solve. Of course, something happens immediate immediately after, which means that it's not going to be quite so quick. I won't say what that is, just in case you are still listening and you haven't seen it. But I just hated her. Uh, I thought, not that I'm saying I hate anybody who isn't forensically aware. Quite frankly, if you're going to commit a crime, such as leaving a dead body, the, the, the less forensically aware you are, the better. Because the easier it will be to catch you. But I just thought there were so many things that either she didn't take into consideration or the writers didn't take into, into consideration that it was just unrealistic and unbelievable. And I didn't like it. From a cinematic perspective, yes, it was tense. Yes, the editing between the present and the past worked well. 
the acting was fine but if you are into this kind of crime film or thriller or true crime um, in general this kind of narrative will bug you to no extent it really is unrealistic a poor representation of how crime is solved and it's also very hard to feel any kind of emotion towards Laura other than just wanting to punch her for being an absolute idiot I'm curious to find out what had happened to her but I couldn't have cared less